Welcome back, welcome back, and in all, glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to Ahia. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. No, we didn't wake ourselves up. We can't do that. No, we can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. And I sure hope you told your loved ones that you love them without promise tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. I sure hope you all are saved and have given your life to Christ Jesus, because if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Only Jesus died for our sins, none other, none other. You need to be reading God's word daily, preferably the King James Version of the Bible, going down on your knees in prayer and crying out to the Father daily. Keep crying out to him in sincerity and truth till you hear from him. Don't stop crying out till you hear from him. Then he'll hear your cries and he'll know from your heart if you're sincere. And he'll answer you. Not only that, he'll teach you the word of God he taught me. And he continually teaches us. Hallelujah. And hope you're living a daily life of repentance because we live in these fleshly bodies. And the flesh is always warring with the spirit. Right? I tell you all the truth because I love you all and Father God loves you more. Today we're still in the book of Ezekiel. We're on chapter 36. A message for Israel's mountains. But before we begin our reading, we're going to say a prayer for children of all ages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Father, for every day. Thank you, Father, for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Father, for giving us parents that love us and train us up by your word. Thank you, Father, for teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. We love you, my Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen, indeed, amen. Let's go into our reading. Hallelujah. Yay, Lord. Ezekiel chapter 36, a message for Israel's mountains. The Lord said, Ezekiel, son of man, tell the mountains of Israel that I, the Lord God, am saying. Your enemies sneered and said that you mountains belong to them. They ruined and crushed you from every side, and foreign nations captured and made fun of you. So all you mountains and hills, streams and valleys, listen to what I will do. Your towns may lie in ruins, and nations may laugh and insult you. But in my fierce anger, I will turn against those nations, and especially the Edomites, because they laughed at you the loudest and took over your pasture lands. You have suffered long enough, and I, the Lord God, am very angry. Nations have insulted you, so I will now insult and disgrace them. That is my solemn promise. Trees will grow on you, mountains of Israel, and produce fruit for my people because they will soon come home. I will take care of you by plowing your soil and planting crops on your fertile slopes. The people of Israel will return and rebuild your ruined towns and live in them. Children will be born and animals will give birth to their young. You will no longer be described as you are now, but you will be covered with people and treated better than ever. Then you will know that I am the Lord. I will bring my people Israel home and they will live on you mountains, they will live on you mountains because you belong to them, and your fertile slopes will never again let them starve. It's true that you have been accused of not producing enough food or of letting your people starve, but I, the Lord, promise that you won't hear other nations laugh and sneer at you ever again. From now on, you will always produce plenty of food for your people. I, the Lord God, have spoken. The Lord said, Ezekiel, son of man, when the people of Israel were living in their own country, they made the land unclean by the way they behaved, just as a woman's monthly period takes the woman's monthly period makes her unclean. They committed murders and worshipped idols, which made the land even worse. So in my anger I punished my people and scattered them throughout the nations, just as they deserved. Wherever they went, my name was disgraced, because foreigners insulted my people by saying I had forced them out of their own land. I care what those foreigners think of me, so tell the Israelites that I am saying, You have disgraced my holy name among the nations where you now live, so you don't deserve what I am going to do for you. I will lead you home to bring honor to my name, and to show foreign nations that I am holy. Then they will know that I am the Lord God. I have spoken. I will gather you from the foreign nations and bring you home. I will sprinkle you with clean water, and you will be clean and acceptable to me. I will wash away everything that makes you unclean, and I will remove your disgusting idols. I will take away your stubborn heart and give you a new heart and a desire to be faithful. 
You will have only pure thoughts because I will put my spirit in you and make you eager to obey my laws and teachings. Hallelujah. You will once again live in the land I gave your ancestors. You will be my people and I will be your God. I will protect you from anything that makes you unclean. Your fields will overflow with grain and no one will starve. Your trees will be filled with fruit and crops will grow in your fields so that you will never again feel ashamed for not having enough food. You will remember your evil ways and hate yourselves for what you've done. People of Israel, I'm not doing these things for your sake. You sinned against me, and you must suffer shame and disgrace for what you have done. I, the Lord God, have spoken. After I made you clean, after I have made you clean, I will let you rebuild your ruined towns and let you live in them. Your land will be plowed again, and nobody will be able to see that it was once barren. Instead, they will say that it looks as beautiful as the Garden of Eden. They won't see towns lying in ruins, but they will see your strong cities filled with people. Then the nearby nations that survive will know that I am the one who rebuilt the ruined places and replanted the barren fields. I, the Lord, make this promise. I will once again answer your prayers, and I will let your nation grow until you are like a large flock of sheep. The towns that now lie in ruins will be filled with people, just as Jerusalem was once filled with sheep to be offered as sacrifices during a festival. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Mm. God's willing, tomorrow we'll come back. Still in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, Dry Bones Live Again. You all tell your loved ones that you love them when I promise tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one of some, he died for us all. If you haven't given your life to him, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's not something I'm for debate or discussion. That's something we all must do, so please do it. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, please let it go.